take apart the BlackBerry Q10. It's just a take apart video. We're not actually repairing anything in this phone. We're just taking it apart and showing you where the other components are. For parts, however, if you're looking for parts for uh, for this phone, I'll have links in the description below to the most common uh, parts like screens, keyboards, batteries, um, all that sort of thing. So be sure to, to check out the links in the description below if you're looking for parts for the Q10. So let's get started. Okay, so the tools you're going to need are T4, screwdriver, and a T2 or T3 in some cases, depending what kind of screwdrivers you have, but T2 seems to work for me. Also some sort of opening tool, plastic preferred, like this one. Okay, so we're gonna remove the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws to start with. These will be done with a T4. I'm gonna forward the unscrewing parts because it doesn't need to be slower than this. Then you're gonna need the T2 for the these two little screws at the top. That's the only time you'll need the, the T2 for. So we're gonna remove this little plastic piece, okay? I'm gonna use a little flathead screwdriver because I couldn't fit the opener tool on there. Very similar to the Bold 9900 and the Bold 9700 uh, series. Just stick the screwdriver in there and pop up this uh, clip. Try not to make put any damage on the housing, on the keyboard or anything. So push it up. It's got some two-way tape and some clips, so just carefully pry it off. Okay, now we're going to remove these two screws on the bottom here. Make sure you remember where the screws go. They're not all the same length and uh, you, they go in pretty specific places. So keep track of where you took them out of. Now you're gonna slide up this little camera cover here. Okay. There's two screws you gotta remove here. The one I'm pointing there is the wrong one, but that's the right one. And then there's one on the very right, which I didn't point to because I was pointing to the uh, headset screw. My mistake. There we go. So you see I'm, uns I'm unscrewing the right one now. And I'll also unscrew the headphone jack screw. So it didn't matter what I was pointing to. You gotta unscrew them all. Now the housing, the back housing will come right off. Let me just point out to you that this is the loudspeaker housing. It's encased in there. Oh yeah, by the way, this uh, has the flash or the LED. Okay, so a close up of the motherboard and connectors. We're gonna remove all the connectors with a plastic tool, preferably. Start off with this one here, the keypad connector and then the headphone jack connector. Then we got this one and the camera and the LCD. Carefully move the keypad one out of the way and the headphone jack one out of the way. In fact, get them all out of the way before you take the motherboard out. Grab the motherboard from a secure location. Don't pull on it hard. I'm just carefully edging it out. Okay, see, the motherboard comes right out. There's no screws on the motherboard. And that's it there. You can see the both sides of it. Okay, so here we got the uh, the mid plate, which basically there's no mid plate. It's part of the LCD. These uh, little tabs we're gonna use to pull off this sticker. 
Make sure you do it slowly as to not rip it in half. It'll look ugly when you put it back together if you have a rip in it. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty strong. It's like aluminum and stuff, so it held together pretty good. Now to take the keypad out, you're first gonna need to uh, this is the screws. It's a small Phillips, very small Phillips screwdriver you're going to need for this. I did open another 9900 though that had a T1. So if it's T1, make sure you check. But in my case here, it's a Phillips. So there you go, there's two. Gotta remove them both. And then you're going to just carefully push out the keypad from the back to the front. And it'll come right out. So this is the keypad for the, 90, uh, the Q10. Very similar to the 9900, but it's not the same. And that's the connector there. Now, believe it or not, the screen assembly just comes right out. Uh, what I do here is I'm gonna lift the uh, bezel out to the left a little bit and then the screen pops right out. Now this is the entire assembly, but first let's look at the bezel. This bezel looks very plasticky and uh, cheap but it's actually um, made out of aluminum, I believe. It's some sort of steel or metal. Um, you can't hear me clicking on it with the screwdriver, but it is steel. That's the headphone jack. If you're gonna replace the screen on this phone, I would recommend buying the full assembly like this. It might not come with the camera and the headphone jack or the speaker here, but Make sure you get the LCD glass and the assembly put together. It's very tough to do without it. Let's put it back together. It's simple. First put the screen on. Unlike the 9900, the screen goes on over top, not through the bottom. So it goes on through the top. Make sure it's in snugly. It clips in. This phone is very solidly built, by the way. Now you clip the keyboard in from the top as well. Put the tiny little screws in. Again, don't forget to check the description below. I'm gonna have some links uh, linking to parts for this phone if you're looking to get parts for the phone. Put that piece of the tape back on. It's actually uh, copper and uh, it's there for a reason more than just, just to cover the screw. So make sure you put it back on. And tape this back on as well. And then we're going to put the motherboard back in. This is actually a very quick and easy phone to take apart.
click in all the connectors. Then we can put the back housing back on. Just clip it in nicely. And then we're going to screw it in. Make sure you put the two top screws on first before you put the uh, cover back on, of course. Put in the bottom screws as well. And remember to put the screws back where they came out of the first time because they're a bit they're a bit specific. Some of them don't work in other places. And we're just about done here. Just keep doing all the screws. At this point, you're probably not even watching anymore because you're, you know what to do. But uh, if you are, don't uh, forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if this video was uh, of any help to you.